Now I'm going to get into sewage a little bit. At one time, every cottage on Hen Island was serviced by outhouses. Between 1952 and 1989, 23 of the outhouses were dismantled and 23 toilets were illegally installed. According to the records on file in the building department and the assessor's office, in 1989 there were 11 working outhouses still in use on Hen Island. Today there is only one. Hen Island and the city of Rye can proudly claim that we are the last and only community in Westchester County to allow the use of an outhouse. You might say that that's an improvement, but here's the problem. The new toilets function very much the same as the old outhouses. The raw sewage still flows into the ground untreated. Also, there is no record of any permit or any approvals from the City of Rye, the County of Westchester, the State of New York for the removal of the outhouses and the installation of the new sewage pits. As a side note, in 1952, it just happens to be the first year on record that the health department had sewage regulations for Westchester County. As a result of the unpermitted installation, some of the sewage pits on Hen Island are located less than 10 feet from the high tide water line. One of those sewage pits was also constructed above ground because of the high water table. That same above ground sewage pit, along with the neighboring one, is located less than 450 feet from the Green Haven Homeowners Association beach where unknowingly children swim in diluted urine and defecation waste from Hen Island residents daily during the summer months. The sewage pit at the Master Vito Cottage on Hen Island is currently clogged and to capacity and will no longer accept any more solid or liquid waste. It's been like that for at least seven years that I know of. Some of the other sewage pits on Hen Island go directly into the ground and directly into the water table of Milton Harbor and the Long Island Sound. So this particular sewage pit located at the Edera residence at the time had a blue plastic garbage can with a removable top. In the event that it became filled to capacity, the owner was able to remove the lid and personally shuffle out his own defecation. After years of my complaint and drawing attention to this specific and infamous blue garbage can, the owner finally removed it. Since he did it without permits, it is presently unclear what he does with his sewage today. In a letter dated June 17, 2009 to the Hen Island Board of Directors and copied to the City of Rye, Westchester County Health Commissioner Leonard Meyerson identified an open sewage pit at the side of cottage number 18. This sewage pit had been left exposed for years as a serious risk for a small child or a pet that can fall in and become entrapped at this location. Upon my last inspection, that sewage pit remained in similar condition today, only now it is covered with a thin rotted piece of tin with a rock preventing the wind from blowing away the tin cover. This picture is not accurate. Although it was taken in 2007, it's still in the same condition with the exception of that white pipe was removed, so it wasn't so obvious that how the sewage got into the pit. But other than that, that picture is the way it is today. Additionally, in that same letter, Commissioner Meyerson identified this cottage as a vacant building in disrepair and that may pose a fire hazard. I would like to note that these issues were originally documented in a 2007 investigation by Ron Gatto, the head of Westchester County's Environmental Enforcement Unit. It took two years and my persistence to draw attention to these health hazards and Westchester County finally notified Hen Island Homeowners Association of the violations. Unfortunately, these violations were totally ignored and these health hazards still exist today over five years later. This cottage has been in this condition for as long as I've lived on Hen Island, and that's 1997. This picture was taken in 2007, and it's still in the exact condition today.